Jordan was the most lovable human being that uh, I ever encountered. Uh, although he had become a man, he was still my little boy. Uh, I would kiss him goodnight every single night. He was 18 years old, and around, I guess it was 4.20 in the afternoon, 4.25, we called him on his cell phone. The next thing I know, the phone went dead. My first thought was his battery ran out. About 15, 20 minutes later or so, um, the doorbell rang. I saw our police officer standing there. He said, do you own a Hyundai? I said, is my son okay? We got to the hospital about five minutes later, and the doctor came. She said, Mr. Sibley, can we go somewhere and talk? I said, look, please, I just need to know. Is my son alive? It's a yes or no question. She said, no, your son died. And then I let out this, this primal scream, the kind that you see in the movies. But that scream is real. And you, you feel like your whole life has died with your child, because children are not supposed to die before their parents. We believe that he dropped his cellular phone. He unbuckled his seatbelt, he bent over to grab the phone, and hit this big, massive, beautiful oak tree. And he was killed instantly.